Uh, did you know Mark Hoankan's story before you shot the film? Uh, yeah, I saw the documentary, and that's what interested me in the first place to uh, to do the movie. I thought it was a very interesting uh, story, something I had never uh, seen before. The fact that here's a guy who um, was horribly uh, attacked and out of something so so brutal and terrible came such beauty. You know, he was able to, through art, turn something really awful into something uh, quite lovely. Did you talk with Mark Hoankam for making the film? Um, I talked to Mark. I met with him. Bob and I both went and met with Mark and we spent just a day um, visiting with him. And uh, I got to know him a little bit, and we, we talked from time to time on the phone and, and email one another. So he's, you know, I consider him a friend now. He's, he's somebody that I, I really respect and, and have a, a fondness for. The main role was cross-dresser. Um, for that reason, uh, he was beating Harley by a man gang. Mm -hmm. uh, a crime, of course. Do you think the film can make aware about consequen consequences for these acts? You know, I, I think that's definitely a component of the film, and he, he was attacked, and it was a hate crime. But I think what I derive more from uh, his story is that in the face of that, in, in, uh, instead of becoming uh, bitter, and angry and closed off, he turned that um, awful experience into something positive and joyful and and expressive and artistic and um, yeah, I mean it's it's a it was a, a brutal brutal beating that robbed him of so much of who he was, but uh, I think the story is a real testament to the human spirit. It's a drama, but it's a comedy too. Mm -hmm. is, it, is it too difficult to uh, blend both genres? I think it, it sort of, uh, it, I don't think it really falls into any genre, and that's part of what I liked about it. You can't really classify it as a, a comedy or a drama or a fantasy or an action movie. There are components of all of those things, and and I, th I think it can exist in that world because life itself isn't a comedy or a drama. It has all sorts of components to it. And, and I think, uh, I'm, I'm hoping that the movie is an expression of that as well. Your latest films uh, is more drama than, than comedy. Uh, when will you return uh, to absolute uh, all comedy films? I don't know. I, I, I've been looking at a few comedies. I'd love to do another comedy. I enjoy doing them. But it, yeah, it's been a while. I think sometimes when you do any sort of, any type of film, that's the type of film that you then tend to get offers on. So the last few years I've done a lot of dramas, so I've continued to get more drama offers. Um, and, and those are most of the scripts that I'm reading at this point. But yeah, if I get, if I found something that I liked, I would definitely do another one, another comedy. And when can you tell me about Vice, your next movie? It's coming out. I don't know when it comes out uh, here. Um, I think it opens in the United States around Christmas time. Mm -hmm. And it's a story of uh, Dick Cheney and his ascension to the vice presidency of the United States. And I play Donald Rumsfeld, who was the Secretary of Defense under uh, Gerald Ford and then again under George Bush. Um, and he, so I play his mentor, essentially. Rumsfeld picks him from obscurity and, uh, and then mentors him in the ways of, of politics in Washington.